Shibins. Shibin is an Irish word, means a place that sells alcohol without a license. Uh. And that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> uh, these places, uh, you find them all around the townships. Uh, they're selling this beer. It's a sacred beer, this one. It's a beer which was served in our traditional ceremonies. We are closer people. We still believe in lots of traditional practices. And they are still very, very close to us. When a child is born, you introduce the child to the ancestors. And say, now there's a new member of the family. Please also protect this child. When you introduce that child, you brew the beer and you slaughter an animal, mostly a goat or a sheep. When I was 18 years old, I had to graduate from boy to man. And the only way you do that, we get circumcised at 18. And we were kept in the wilderness. I pointed it out. Yes. <laughs> for 30 days. When you go there, the beer is brewed so that the ancestors can protect us while we're there from things we cannot see and touch. There are no doctors allowed in there, no medical assistance allowed. Everything is performed the old traditional way. So some of the guys don't survive that rite of passage. So when you come back as a man, the beer is brewed, there's a huge feast in your house, and everyone is happy that you came back as a man. When people get married, we have to pay for our wives. We pay cows, but we don't have enough cows for that these days in the township. So the parents of the lady will say, we want 10 cows for our daughter, and depending if she's educated, doesn't have children. She comes from a very uh, stable family where she was taught values and, and respect and everything. So they charge more. For example, they'll say 5,000 for each cow. So five times 10, 50,000 reds. Mm. That's why I'm still single. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we brew the beer when the marriage happens connect these two families to make them one. Also, when someone passes away, when we claim <coughs> what has happened in that family, the beer must be brought. But now, this beer is here, and none of these reasons I've mentioned are <laughs> happening. It's because now, when the women came from the villages to the cities, they sat here in the townships, and the city did not have any employment for them. They could not read, they could not write. The city actually needed just labor. They didn't need other stuff from here, which is hard labor. So the women decided that waiting for the income, which comes with the husbands from the city, it's not enough to feed the family. That is why they ask themselves, what can we do to survive in the townships? And in the ceremonies, according to Kosa culture, we made women to brew the beer. Kosa was slaughtering animals and cooking the meat. And we mix the beer and the meat and we make a feast. So the women said, we have a skill. We know how to brew the beer. We're going to brew the beer now, but it's not going to be for free. They will pay. That is why today all these brewers are owned and run by women only. Uh, men do not know how to brew a beer here. Yeah. Only women because of this traditional thing. And the women are not willing to teach the men because now they make 20 rand for 5 liters. And the ingredients is the soca you saw that guy taking to for his cow, maize meal, 
and also water. The volume of alcohol, less than 2%. To be tipsy and excited with this beer, you have to sit here the whole day, which most of the guys do that. And uh, there are rules inside the shipping here. Rule number one, no one must have their own class here, ever. Everyone drinks from the same thing. Number two, the beer is 20 rand. Not everyone have that 20 rand to pay for this five liter. So they club the money. They sit like this when they come back from work, like a cycling. One takes out two rands, one takes out three rands, one takes out five rands. Most of these women who are running these businesses cannot read and write. But they know how to count money. <laughs> when it's 20 rand, that's the only time. We call them shipping queens. Queen. And women started generating some income for themselves. From this one, anything eatable or drinkable, the women are running these businesses. Over 60% of the informal sector in the townships, it's run and owned by women. Because they were the ones who had to make a plan to make money here. So uh, I'm going to show you how you drink this beer. Feel free to take pictures of me while working and drinking. That's the only reason why I'm doing this job. <laughs> and he's not wearing his hat. No. I'm like, who's that? Me? No, no, no. I don't know that man. Where is, where is, where is his badge? This uh, packet is heavy. But you lift it up with your weaker hand. My weaker hand is the left one. Because my stronger hand goes underneath. And then you balance it like this. With the froth on top, it's a sign of freshness. After three days, this beer goes flat. No froth on top. Ladies have to sell that 60 liter in three days. And they do that very easy. Because it's popular. I like to blow the froth a little bit away because I don't like the mustache. <laughs> but many people love the mustache after drinking, so they don't blow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Compliments to the bro. <laughs> very, very good job. So it's warm? No, not warm, not too cold. Uh, this beer needs room temperature at all times, from, fermenta from fermentation uh, to, to when it's served. So you cannot refrigerate it. If it's too cold here, they make fire here. This fire is not only for the customers to feel warm, it's to keep this room in the right temperature for the beer. When it's yeah. summertime, it's too hot. Then it's not good also for the beer. So they dig a hole, which is meter down, like uh, this. And they put the whole 60 liter there, maybe a quarter of it in there, and they pour cold water into that hole to cool the beer, to hold that room temperature. You, you, you don't, if you didn't, don't get the temperature right, the beer won't taste nice. So that's why they, they heat the cold and keep it there. So do they pass the bucket around and everybody the just around, from yes. the bucket? Yes. I'm the opener. I've opened the bucket. Uh, when they drink, it starts from someone who sits from the door. And the older you become, according to Kosa people, the more benefits you have. So they drink first the older until the youngest. Which is the youngest <laughs> <in> the <top. laughs> And sometimes the youngest have to drink the whole thing. Yet. You see? So 